So what the Designers Accord is, uh, is a global coalition of designers, educators, and corporate leaders working together to create positive social and environmental impact. It sounds very serious. The Designers Accord is similar to First Things First and a few of the other uh, projects that went before it, but it's not a manifesto. It is actually a list of five guidelines that are in your booklet, so I won't go into them. Um, there are five guidelines that have personal accountability and communal accountability. So while you are making a pledge, you're also making a series of actions. The first cluster of guidelines talk about people and places. So design firms, design schools, corporations agree to educate their teams and to make their environments sustainable or green. The second um, set of guidelines, or the second part of the guidelines, may force everyone who has adopted the Designers Accord to have a conversation about this issue, these issues, with every client and every customer who walks in their door, which is a really, di really difficult thing to do. Even at IDEO, where we so much of our work is about this, it's very difficult to do because you constantly feel self-conscious or you feel nervous, and it's about you know drawing on the network so that we actually can live up to this um, live up to this guideline. And the last thing is that everybody in the Designers Accord agrees to share their best practices, their foibles, their successes, their questions, and their resources with everyone else. So, you, so a, a very competitive um, group of people are agreeing to say, maybe I know something that you don't know, I'll share it with you. If you build on it, then share it back with me. So it has a wonderful concatenated effect. I started this um, with an article I wrote um, about these sorts of issues in July 2007. And I thought that I had come up with something that I was calling at the time the Kyoto Treaty of Design. I thought I had come up with something so brilliant that everyone, you know, sort of the design industry would stop in its tracks and, you know, bow to me. Um, and people would want to be part of it, and nobody. So it was a very slow start. Um, a year ago, um, 3,500 people, which was beyond my wildest dreams, had become part of this from 21 countries. Um, and this month, or last month, as of last month, there were 1, 150,000 people from design firms, uh, corporations, and um, schools from 100 countries representing 40 or so design disciplines, architecture, interior design, industrial design, graphic design, engineering, research, strategy, all part of living up to these, those five guidelines or living up to them as much as they possibly can.